Hello everybody, welcome to our Something Political video. In this video, we will talk about our first international relations theory, realism. So, realism is mainly concerned with issues and questions like power, order and stability, how to establish peace, or how to prevent war. Because for realists, this is how the things work in world politics. They try to understand and explain this reality, that is why the theory is called realism. There are different sub-schools of realism, but in this video we will talk about the classical one. Classical realism is represented by Hans Morgenthau and Edward Hallett Carr. We will talk about them in another video. So, for classical realists, Human nature is the principal reason why the world has wars and conflicts. Human beings are selfish creatures and they always try to maximize their own interest. And that creates a constant struggle for power in the international system. For realists, state is the principal actor in causing or preventing violence in the international political system. The decision-makers in states are always assumed to be rational actors. Be it states, individuals, or national leaders, they all act to maximize their power, which is a rational decision to make in realism's anarchical world. Oh, did we forget to mention anarchy? Well, not that one, but... Okay, hold on. Realism's world is anarchic because there is no central authority above states, which is the principal and seems like the most important actor, powerful enough to force rules or regulations on them. And that is why states have to rely on their own resources to protect themselves in an anarchical environment where nobody else will come to the rescue. That is why realists think that the power and security are two most important issues for states. Realists also think that since they can never be sure about the real intentions of their, let's say, neighbors, it would not be very possible to form alliances. They do not oppose to the idea of forming alliances, but they think that alliances and treaties last as long as they are useful, because every state will try to maximize its own national interest in the end. Lastly, we can say that in general, classical realism tries to come up with a theory of foreign policy. It tries to understand the foreign policy behaviors of other states. So, that brings us to the very end of this very short video about classical realism. We will continue with the other sub-schools of realism and then with the other IR theories. If you liked the video, please do not forget to like it. And for our other videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.